The two teams coming out onto the pitch. The strains of the FIFA anthem in the background. And we are just about ready for this World Cup qualifying match. We are underway. Goodson and Jeff Cameron in front. That was a question. Who is going to be in the central defense? Through ball and trying to make the run and the turn. One back Gomez rifles it through. Loose ball deflected and the third try the charm. 36 seconds in and Clint Dempsey has arrived. Deuce on the board for the U.S. and what a surprise. Here's that opportunity. See, Gomez goes down the channel. Channel. It should be challenged here. It shouldn't get away and get inside. Shots well saved in the end from Miller, but on the rebound, you see who's there, just waiting for that kind of opportunity. Clint Dempsey, he's been doing it for so long now. United States, however, starting to get pinched and now stripped in their own end. A little hook from Beckerman. Looks like they are leaving Nasworthy and Mariapa back, but with Johnson and Shelton, there's men there. Blasted through, and it skips under Howard for the equalizer. It didn't sneak under the wall. It pounded a hole through it. The goal for Austin, and we're tied at one. The angle. Yeah. Yeah. They jump. Yep. They all go up. I'm not sure he gets a touch, but that's, uh, that's not what you want because that's, as you say, that's not the goalkeeper's oh, side. Yeah. Oh, Beckerman. There it was. That's a touch yep. off Beckerman in the end. So Lady Luck has flashed her backside at both teams now in the first half. Approaching the half hour, blasted up and over. Johnson thought he had the angle and linesman right there and Marcos Quintero into the middle, the return pass. Poor job holding off, or at least just taking the hit was Goodson. Starting to play and play well on that right flank for Villa. In for Altador. Again, dishes off. Nice ball. Parker slips through. Slotted, but not home. The run from the back line. I think that was Cameron. Not quite as sharp as he was. Beckerman wins it. Deflects up. Three on one if they hurry. But a good hustle by Miller off his line to cover the danger. Pulled the U.S. out of the fire. Couldn't do it in the first half will he be tested here four men in the wall 48th minute they take it straight off the chest the rebound shot parried away Howard thought about catching it but then it started to dip a corner kick for Jamaica ball played to the center Jones goes back down to the right haven't seen a lot of side to side movement from the U.S. into the center falls for Altador good quick settle but the shot squirts wide in the midfield Shea and Torres and Zussi still remain and Terrence Boyd the lone front runner and he has been red hot for rapid giving too many chances around the box here another free kick the US giving too many chances around the box here 41 caps now for the Leeds man last it in and it's not home 62nd minute goal and Jamaica taking advantage two off the free kick and the party just getting started in Kingston Howard's got his post, the wall's there. But look at the way he hits it. That barely gets over the wall. He rips that into that corner. And Whitmore, well, he used to be able to do stuff like that himself. Miller take out, take the goalkeeper today. It's a different team. It's a different, or take out Ryan Johnson. Off the restart, 82nd minute. In comes Miller, gets a hand to it, and actually slaps it wide to safety. As you wanted to hear they'll be in the driver's seat in about 10 minutes. Ball deflects far side Parkhurst with some backspin out comes Miller again. Strong punch U.S. starting to put the pressure on or is it Jamaica just dropping back cross pass a strong header by Dempsey but sends it over the crossbar and it looks like Miller's a little nicked. Well there was a couple of good challenges actually on Dempsey when the ball comes across. And that will do it. The final whistle from Rodriguez, and the U.S. can't even get the ball in play. Congratulations to Theodore Whitmore, able to do something no coach before him has done and guide Jamaica to victory over the U.S. And Robbie fully deserved.